this short video, I'd like to demonstrate how to take a fitting uh, that I've authored for tube and pipe and then publish it to the content center. So the first step in the process is to actually uh, set up a library that you can use to publish custom content. So you'll have to go to the Get Started tab, take a look at your current project file, and see if this is allowed. I'm just using a <clears throat> standard class project file. So when I look in here, you just want to make sure that you've got any type of custom library that can be utilized. In this case, I'll just use the My Library from the standard Inventor install. And so I'll go ahead and close out of this. And then the next step in the process, if that's already been taken care of, is to <clears throat> actually build a fitting. So I made just a simple fitting with threaded at one end and a hose would fit over the top, nothing too complicated. And then after the geometry is all set, you would need to actually add in the tube and pipe content. Now for the sake of time, I've already done that, but I'll just quickly review what's been done. So the first step in the process is to actually choose what type of fitting you want, type of fitting you want to make. So this is going to be a hose fitting, but it could be other types as well. Then you determine the number of connections, since this is a simple two end connector, I only have two. But in other videos, I will be demonstrating how to build a six port manifold that I'm actually using. And that would actually have two inlets, six outlet ports for a total of eight. So you have a lot of flexibility on the type of uh, fittings and connectors that you're able to make. And then you just configure each end. So at one end, I've configured it to be a threaded connector with a nominal 3 a size, determined the direction and the engagement. So you, again, my goal is not to necessarily walk you through every step, but you basically have to tell it where is it connecting from the point, the axis it's using, which happens to be the same circle, and then I want it to maximally engage at this surface of the flange, and then I'm saying that the minimum engagement has to be 75%. Since I'm not planning on giving this any characteristics for transference to, uh, say, like Smart Plant or CADWorks or Plant 3D, I'm not going to bother with any, entering in any of the isogen data. You would configure the other side so one side is threaded. The other side, I'm saying, is a hose fit in the field. Same, same deal, 3 eighths, point, point engagement, etc, etc. So once that's all taken care of, it will claim it's ready to be published. Can you hit OK? And then you have to go to the actual publish area. So if you look up here again in the manage tab next to where we had authored the tube and pipe content, you can actually choose to publish the part. So it will look at any one of the custom content center libraries you have available. In this case, I just had the My Library. Uh, I only speak English, poor as it may be, so I will leave it as English, and then just kind of walk through it. You choose what category, and in more advanced uses of the custom content center, you can build your own categories. But to keep it simple, I'm just going to leave it as a hose fitting. Hit Next. And then again, you have to fill out the sizes. It kind of does this for you when you're actually publishing the content, but you could enter in additional information here. For example, if it was made sense, like if I was doing a pipe elbow or something, I could add in a schedule number. Hit next. And then it asks you what you want to define the actual part by. I'm just going to say by the part number or the nominal size doesn't really matter but if you had a table of parts where you had different sizes uh, maybe I had a quarter inch three eighths half inch three quarter inch fitting then I would want to make sure that I filter it by something that makes sense uh, the nominal size will work for what I'm doing I hit next and then you can enter in family information now when you're publishing your content uh, <clears throat> you you can make this as detailed as you want. This is going to be the family name that displays inside of the content center. So whenever you look it up at the 
if from a content center, this is the name you're going to be seeing or searching for. So I'm just going to call it class test fitting. Whoops. Fitting. And then the folder name, this is when you actually place the content center file. This is what uh, where it's going to store it locally in your content center location in a folder name this. And you can enter in a uh, family description if you wish. Now the important thing uh, from a filtering standpoint and trying to find it is it's a good idea to try and put in a standard organization, manufacturer, standard, etc. And this can even be your own company. So I'm just going to put in class. Whoops. Click actually helps if you click in the field. I'm just going to put class in for each one. Control A, Control C, Tab, Control V, Tab, Control V. And then I hit next. And now we're at the last step where it's actually going to publish it to the content center. And it's going to just create this thumbnail image. I'm happy with that. Click OK. And just to verify it, if I go up to the editor and I look in my merged view, I now find a hose fitting. Oops. There are any filters that there might be. There we go. And there's that class fitting that I just published. So that's the gist of it. That's how you take a custom part, author it as tube and pipe content, and then you can publish it to the content center. This will allow you now to create your own tube and pipe styles, which I will show in another video. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and have a blessed day.